today I have something special for you. Kia Niro plug-in hybrid. It's advanced version in black color with nice this green light green yeah let's say it's green colors also in the headlights you can see this led headlights very nice here we have uh, adaptive cruise control all radars front uh, parking sensor we have here 16 inch wheels they are designed for aerodynamic so they have like plastic here they are close they are very nice it's michelin 20560 r16 some chrome details and i will jump show you the back of the car so let's open the car let's see the trunk It's not that big, I, if I'm not wrong, it's around 340, 350 liters with the plug-in hybrid. Because on the back behind, behind this is electric motor. We have some small space here for cables, towing and emergency kit. Here's small storage. Yeah access to the fuel door we can we can put net here and this is all kit what you get from kia with all cables and when we open this it's fuse box accumulator yeah accumulator not fuse box sorry yeah, it's not that big, but for a small family and shopping, it's enough. Here we have rear camera. Quality I will show you in a moment. And back lights. Then jump to in a moment to interior. Here we have pocket to plug electric your car. Electric headlights, fuel door, and we have one more door right here to plug your car with electric fuel. Okay, let's go inside. Like I said, it's advanced version. So it's full, almost full equipped, but it's very luxurious. We have like, yeah, say, let's say, eco leather with white stitching, very beautiful. Black, piano black trim. Doors in the pocket are quite small, but small bottle of water you can put here we have all assistant like lane keep assist this is electric and auto and time when you want to charge your car and open the fuel door from inside and fuse box we have electronic uh, not sorry not electronic we have a parking uh, brake in the foot nice aluminium pedals seats look very beautiful very nice with this white stitching and actually they are quite comfortable let's let me jump inside okay i unfortunately i have the normal key but it's okay so what do we have here steering wheel a very nice to touch leather we have phone radio voice control adaptive cruise control 
and a menu. Then we have here main screen. Let me just start the car. Nice Kia logo. But you have to see this in the middle. Let me start again. Look cool, huh? And now car is start. So quiet. On the left of gauge cluster we have charge, echo and power, no speedometer and then on the right speedometer up to 220 kilometers. So actually when we shift the gear and go we don't know what kind of RPM we are. We just have echo and power and charge. Now I have up here only 9 kilometers, but when I drive, let's see how much I will have. But here we made like 50 kilometers in one liter, so it showed that 2 liters per 100 kilometer, then it's very good. So we have here automatic light and wipers, all the radio and media map navigation with maps one issue about the scale you have to choose manual because when you put automatic when you go to some direction and you see the turn is around 200 meter it show you like it's now and you can pass some entrance and not go in the same road and way what you would like to down we have all air condition is automatic we can choose drive, uh, driver only or passenger sync we have usb ports two usb uh, one usb lx and 12 volts two that's nice and here is wireless charge for your phone automatic uh, six speed dual clutch transmission Parking sensor and EV mode. Now I have here as well heating steering wheel and two seats. Small storage, cup holders. And here nice storage with USB port. So yeah, we can charge phone. It's quite deep. It's very nice soft nice material and you have here close look in the back let's check how this car drive just put the mirrors seats steering wheel we can place in two positions so it very good. Okay, let's drive. I'll just turn off the air condition. It's very quiet. Now you can hear only electric motor. Press the button EV only. So I will drive now only in electric motor and then I will try to charge a bit. Position here is very good, I like it so much. This is my dream car, really. I would like to sell my car and change for newer, but only one issue the trunk can be too small for me. Right now in my car is 600 liters and here around 350 will be not enough for my travel sometimes but I will see everything in this car I like everything it's very cool what do you think guys about this car do you like it I know it's not nothing special not look like cool hybrids 
Transmission thing a bit, that was this noise and high RPM. But now we charge. Yeah. It's not sport car, not for driving like crazy, but very comfortable. The seats are nice. We can make them warm our butt. Also, you can choose option with a cooled seat as well so this will be like a great option to have if you would like to buy a car for a long time but easily you can drive many kilometers and now the hybrid is fe a new feature new technology and it's future so everybody would like to have this car and will have probably after 10-15 years I feel very nice here. The material, okay, let's touch a bit. The car, here it's nice, soft. Here's a bit harder. And yeah, bottom is always hard plastic, but to be honest, nobody will drive like that, yeah? Like I do now. So I'm pretty sure after a couple of months, nothing will give you an ugly noise. My consumption shown me that I can make 13.4 kilometer on liter. Yeah, but let's change. Let's turn it off EV only. To drive normally. This adaptive cruise control is very good. Also, lane keep assist. Yeah, I turn it on, but now the car don't see line in front of me. So let's find some road where I can check this. It's so quiet, so comfortable, really. Even if you would like to pass somebody to accelerate and just press the gas, this transmission is so good very fast smooth let's try menu mode okay I will show you something in a moment this look cool in sport mode in the middle of the screen it show circle with car the compass of course I can change but show you RPM now you see in sport mode show me RPM isn't that cool? now it's 2000 RPM brake Now in lane assist it's working. See, can't turn himself. I'm not touching the steering wheel. Nothing. He's driving himself. Okay, now I have to. See, it was a long time. Let's try again. Okay, try to keep me in the middle. Turn. And now it's information to grab the steering wheel. Very cool. Shift six gear. Six gear in hybrid. Damn. It's so cool. Let's check some acceleration. Reduce. It's hard in front of me. I can't have fun, but let's try.
it's okay, it's not demon of speed, but it's really enough to drive on the highway. Oh, by the way, highway. You can drive on EV mode up to 120 kilometers an hour. Isn't that cool? For me, if I drive to visit my family, I can put 110, 115, even 120, cruise control and drive, let's say, if this car can make 70 kilometers, then it's more than enough. I'm really happy. So you probably would like to know the price. With price of this model with this equipment it's between 320 and 340,000. But you can get a Kia Niro hybrid, not plug-in hybrid from 275,000 here in Denmark. So for hybrid, nice look car. I think it's fair price. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe my channel, then I can get more cars for you, maybe for longer time, because now I have only 30 minutes, so I have to come back. Thank you so much. Bye.